What's up guys, back into another reaction to Vinland Saga Season 2, this time with the uh, penultimate episode, I think, episode 23. Um, we've got next week's episode, and then that is unfortunately the end of the season. Um, hopefully it won't be as, as long a wait as uh, it was from Season 1 to Season 2, but um, yeah, obviously uh, I think MAPRA are a very busy, <laughs> a very busy company, so I uh, can imagine it might be a few years, but uh, what a season there's been. Um, again, probably my anime of the year. Um, it's already cracked my top 10 anime of all time. Um, cracked it a while back. <laughs> honestly with you guys but um last episode was absolutely brilliant uh forfeit and canute having a kind of battle of ideologies just kind of reinforcing their stances on um on, on again their kind of ideologies and what they um what they actually kind of want out of uh, what their kind of end goal is so uh looking forward to seeing what is going to go down in today's episode uh let me know what you guys think of this one down in the comment section though leave a like on the video if you guys do like and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions and let's get right into it guys Again, my main hope after last episode is that again, kind of Omar becomes like a uh, a servant of the fourth in, almost like a almost like a servant of God. <laughs> maybe uh, maybe not the best analogy there, but um, a follower of sorts of his uh, of what he preaches. I can very much see that happening. I think a lot of people. I'm not really sure impressed is the right word, but were impressed by um, fourth in last episode and the resilience and. It's not just that Thorfinn has become a true warrior. These people see him as a kind of... After that, these people see him as a true warrior. Well. Wow. Yeah, honestly, it's cracked my top 10 halfway through the season. <laughs> just beautiful character development and storytelling, isn't it? Just beautiful. Some of the best I've seen for quite some time. Goodbye instead. So the last thing I watched that was close to this kind of level of storytelling and such is probably Sangats in a line. Very different of course, but some more colour giving up. And I was—I really wasn't expecting the story to be like. Again, I liked season one, and the storytelling was good in season one, but it was um, it definitely had a bit of a different feel to it, didn't it? I think looking back, that really it almost improves it as well. That this, the developments this has made on that makes that first season even better. So it's just like a perfect follow up. The best sequels are. There's a lot of the best movies ever are sequels. Terminator Two, they uh they complement the uh the original. The best always do. That light next to four fin. He is dangerous to you guys. Like what I said a minute ago, that with the people being impressed, leaves an impression. 
as I said, I could very much see Olmar becoming a, a follower and probably plenty of other people, perhaps. Like I said, I mean, there's no Jesus, but he's almost a, a kind of a figure similar, isn't it? It doesn't stand. It isn't just a man. It's it's what he's, what this man kind of stands for. He's like a beacon rather than a person. Yeah, the big picture is good. But what about those little guys? What about the the minority that has to suffer? Waltz right out of there. Even that man just walking away is impressive, isn't it? I know, as I said, even this man walking away is just super impressive. So this man, yes. I mean, the position he's in, yes. The position he's positions he's been in, the family he's killed, yes, it is hilarious. <sighs> Sorry guys, it's, it's very hot. There's my giant light right above me. Hot anyway, but even hotter under this bloody light. Yeah, it's like a flower in a farm of pig shit. <laughs> flower in a farm of pig shit. No, we'll see about that. I don't think we've seen anyone actually at the place in that in this whole series, have we? So I very much doubt that.
<laughs> stop giving me stop giving me these I mean we haven't even got to that stage but stop giving me these oppressed people it's quite uh, quite amazing actually isn't it when he describes it like that fill in the void the uh, canute leaves Man, it's just amazing how much this man has changed, Canoe, isn't it? Just face wise, just as a person, so it's almost like an absolute different guy, but he's still, still got that Canoe kind of in there. Ultimately, he is still the, <laughs> this fucking, oh, ultimately, he is still the same Canoe. Um, I say that, but again, like I said, he's massively changed, isn't it? Really, it's quite amazing, isn't it? Same with Thorfinn, of course. <clears throat> oh, I think everyone left that satisfied, to be honest with you. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want to give him more fucking oppressed people. Love to hear that, Canute. Like I said, that just that went just about as well as you could expect. And it's all down to forfeit. He endured. Persevered. Nice. Nice. Holy shit, that is uh, not all so many, is it? <laughs> not all so many at all. Good. That's pretty fucking awesome to hear, isn't it? That. The influence this man's message has. It's crazy, isn't it? Well, again, that, that went just about as well as it could ever go. <laughs> that went beautifully. Bloody hell. Not quite expecting that, to be honest with you. Not quite expecting that. Sorry, guys. This, uh, my hay fever's playing up a little bit today. Oh, ah. Oh. I thought we were going to be seeing old man Kettle. You know what? I'm surprised he's not dead. I, I, I was 100% certain he'd be dead before the end of this season. I hope it's not the case. I really hope it's not the case.
Beneran doa. Yeah. I feel exactly the same. Wow. What a beautiful scene this is. But yeah, I said at the time, I was almost happy that Aunt High died. Not not because I didn't want her to live, but because that was salvation. That was away from this horrible place, these horrible events that have been happening her whole life that are affecting her. Like I said, that she had peace in death, at least. Yeah, I'm trying to create a world where she wants to cling on, or a, a, another Han eyed can can want to to survive, be with her family. This is a scene and a half, isn't it? Bloody hell! Let's go. <laughs> There's the trailer shot. Look at those hands, man. I love the way they. I, I saw a video on it. I love the way that they depict the hands in this show. I, I say this quite a bit in general. I quite like scars and kind of things that leave marks and tell a story. Tattoos in some cases. Uh, these are definitely some of the most. Important. I can't really think of many other anime that has hands like Vinland Saga that again tell a whole story just by themselves. That scene right there of just two hands, you could you could put that you could show that to someone and they'd I think they'd get a lot from it. Hey, there's the old man. Omar. Ah, so we're saying bye to these guys, hey. I'm gl again, I'm glad old man Kel isn't dead. I'm fucking glad that didn't happen. I don't know what I don't know how emotional I would have got <laughs> if that was a if that was a scene in this season. Are you going, Omar? John, I really hope he goes with them. Although maybe he's got to, maybe he's got his place here, perhaps. A real man. My man Omar went through a lot of development. This season, yeah, that just shows how much development such a short span of time.
every damn time this guy helped us so much Are we really saying? I hope it's not. We're not saying goodbye to these guys forever. A lot of great characters here. But I hope not. Son of Grim. Goodbye, old ma, old man kettle. Snake. And uh, the other guy. <laughs> the other dude. Again, I can't imagine we're just leaving them, right? They're way too, way too good characters to never see again. Kettle. His wife. Does this mean we're never seeing these guys again? In fact that we're time skipping. Love to see that. Love to see that from you, Omar. Now oh, the blonde guy is going grey now. Yeah, again, I get the feeling we might never see these guys again, which is a real shame. Maybe four gil. The way this dude's looking, he's looking ominous as fuck. Carpet. Ah, oh, he's looking real old now. Of what you feel into me. Atta, that's his name. Oh, God damn, I'm feeling, uh, I feel a bit jittery right now, my dude. My God. Are that encounter into me? I think everyone, everyone affect, touched by Thorfinn and Einar. Everyone close to them, as we saw right there, has been carved into them, hasn't it? Like it just said, their existence, their their experience with Thorfinn and Einar really has changed everything on this farm for the much better. Uh, pretty amazing farewell there, considering there's still an episode left, wasn't it? Bloody hell. Like I said, I feel a bit, bit chilly here. <laughs> I feel a bit chilly during that little end bit. The whole episode was fucking amazing though, wasn't it? In terms of like tone and just the vibe throughout the feeling. Just a, just a lot of raw kind of emotion in that whole episode, wasn't there? That's why I felt anyway. What a banger. What a banger. Yummy, yummy, no, can't get it in, get down. Again, I hope we maybe see Omar, Snake, 
I doubt we'll be seeing old Matt and Kettle again. Wouldn't be mad at seeing actual Kettle again. Seeing what, what happens to him, perhaps. I feel like we're definitely going to see Forgill again at some point. Um, yeah, I'd love to see those those guys we said farewell to at the end there. Later on down the line, perhaps. I thought it was a time skip because of the old my hair, but I think it just let his hair down. <laughs> I think it just let his hair down during that scene, so. Oh, shit, we're in Iceland. Holy shit. That's fucked. Wow, she's been here this whole time? Wow. So that's Thorfinn's mum right there. <laughs> we haven't seen in, what, 20 years? <laughs> Something like that. Wow, so, uh, yeah, we're having a stop off at Iceland. Bloody hell. Who the hell is it? Is that his sister? I guess then. I, I, do you know what? I actually remembered his mum's name a while ago, but I forget it now. Um, yeah, I can't remember. But I remembered it a little while ago, which is impressive for me. <laughs> Wow, and there's another little kid there. She, she, had, she had another kid with another man, perhaps? Maybe it's someone else's kid. Maybe it's, maybe it's his sister's kid. Maybe more likely, actually. Wow, she doesn't even look all that bad, does she? Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, really awesome episode today, again. Um, I, I, like, I just, like, like I've said the last couple of weeks, to be honest with you, I'm still not the biggest fan of these previews. Um, I mean, I've watched a lot of previews in general. There's there's always spoilers in previews, but I feel like with this show more than most, uh, there really is quite more spoilers. <laughs> I don't know if you guys feel the same way or not, but uh, again, incredible episode today. Like I said, the tone and emotion throughout this episode was goddamn brilliant, even with a scene just as simple as kind of um, Thorfinn and Einar by, uh, I say it's simple, uh, Thorfinn and Einar um, at Re um, Reinhardt's. <laughs> Reinhardt's... Uh, Arnhide's uh, grave. That was uh, just an absolutely beautiful moment there. Um, love the resolution with Canute and, and Thorfinn, of course, uh, making uh, making a lot of ground there. Um, obviously, Canute kind of changing his way slightly, changing his approach to things, which is again amazing to amazing to hear. Um, like what we saw with the the kind of carve it stuff we see at the end, which was uh, see at the end, which was really beautifully done. We saw that pretty much throughout this whole episode. It was a whole episode of people carving these kind of experiences with Thorfinn and, and what the teachings and and uh, again just what he kind of represents into themselves and again you really feel that snake with, with what he said there at the end giving away his uh, his name and his dad um, with what he said there at the end and you really feel from like Omar, Pata and uh, uh, what's, uh, what's the other one? Uh, Omar, Pata who, who's the other guy at the end there? My memory is absolutely awful isn't it? <laughs> Uh, old man Kettle. Um, you really do feel maybe not so much old man Kettle. I feel like he's always he was always that kind of really decent guy, wasn't he? Um, but you feel with the rest of them, especially that they really have changed quite a bit again, especially especially um, Omar uh, again, a character I really do hope we see again. Uh, might actually be pretty boring though because um, we've seen that kind of evolution, and I think he is just going to be now again that man that he's become just going to oh, maybe not own the farm, but he's he's found his place if you know what I'm saying on this farm. Doing, uh, doing the farm work rather than being a warrior so um, again if we do drop by him it might just be again just maybe just boring kind of him just being on the farm and stuff so um, yeah I do I do unfortunately get the feeling this probably is goodbye for good as as again as, as crazy as it seems because like I said the development in these characters and just how good they are seems like an absolute shame if we never see these guys again but it feels like that is going to be the way so Again, big shame there, but again, incredible cast this season, wasn't it? Um, do let me know what you guys thought of this episode, though, uh, down in the comment section. Again, absolutely amazing episode, as usual. Um, leave a like on the video if you guys do like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date. Um, I'll be back next week with the final episode, which looks like another absolute banger. So hopefully I'll see you guys then, and enjoy the rest of your day.